there, welcome back. I have a trunk club of August. I haven't done one in a while. It's because I was moving. It's actually end of September now. I don't know why I said August. Um, I have a new stylist though. It was the same person since I got it from the very beginning, which really wasn't that long ago, but the last like five or six trunks, and now it is a new person, and she did a really awesome job. I actually already opened this, and that's because I've been holding on to it for the last like four days now, and I have to send it back, so I'm like, I might as well do a video on this because I like making these types of videos. I just have not been in the mood this past week. Um, but I decided I'm gonna throw glasses on. My eye styes are back. My eyes feel so bad. They just burn and itch and I am now getting rid of more of my makeup and I don't have enough left. So I haven't, I've just looked a whole hot mess the past week or so. So if you see reflections off my glasses, I apologize. So let's get into the trunk. I already sorted out what I'm keeping and what I'm sending back. I saw Earth what I'm sending back or however it works, just pulling out. The first thing is by Kendra Scott. She sent me a pair of earrings. They're actually very pretty. I thought I said no, because on the preview she had listed these and I thought I said no, but I must have said send them. And they're $55 and that's about $55. Too expensive for a pair of earrings at the moment that I would want to spend. They're nicely made like I feel like they wouldn't make my ears itch like I'm very sensitive to certain metals and I think like this would be a good metal for my hair but again they're $55 so I think I can go to Target and get a $10 pair of earrings but will they probably hurt my ears I'm thinking yes she also sent me some high-waisted slim straight jeans size 28 they look a little big i am be honest i didn't even try them on just because i'm not in the market for denim and i don't really like the way these feel like i'm very much into textures and like the way things feel and they make my skin get goosebumps i don't like them at all like they look like they're well made i just i can't so those are being sent back um and then this sweater i asked her to put some orange stuff in here because I need to wear more orange for my school. And it's by Free People, and it's very, very cute. And I, Anthony really liked this, but it's like so oversized where I just felt like a frump ball. <laughs> it just, it didn't look good in my opinion. I don't think turtlenecks look good on me. I don't have like the most structured jawline. So like sometimes when I'm wearing them, I just feel like my neck just like blends into my face and the collar. So I'm saying no to this. It also was a hundred or is a hundred and forty eight dollars. So my um, credit card is going to say no as well. And this is a very, very cute sweater. It's by, I think, Halogen. Just kidding. Treasure and Bond. It's in a size small. It is very much oversized as well. Kind of like a grandpa sweater. I loved it except for the sleeves. The sleeves are like a solid eight inches too long for my arm and it doesn't look good rolled up so just based on that i'm gonna say goodbye to this and also because it is a hundred dollars these are just work pants because i wanted more like casual stuff that i could wear outside of work while also inside of work i wouldn't wear these outside of work but i do need new black pants so i think i'm gonna keep these they're a tiny bit big they're by halogen and they're a size six i feel like a size four like, I think I'm probably in between a four and six, so I'm usually like a four in Nordstrom stuff. The waist on that's just big. So I'm thinking bloated Brittany will appreciate those pants. We'll see though. The first thing that I actually am gonna keep is this Levi Denim jacket. This is the ex-boyfriend trucker jacket. It's in a size medium, it's $89.50. I think that's pretty good for Levi's because they run a little pricier and it's just like really good quality. I do have the denim jacket. I'm going to end up selling it on Poshmark. I'll probably put it in like my empties for the end of this month next week. Um, yeah, I will try to link everything below as far as like what things are called. Um, that way, if you like any of this stuff, you can request it if you're part of Trunk Club because they have their own like, they're Nordstrom like pieces, but they have their own inventory is what I'm getting at. So Trunk Club has like a warehouse for Trunk Club and Nor where Nordstrom has like that same stuff, but like their own. So like you can't just go on Nordstrom's site and just pick out things for Trunk Hubs to sell, send you. That makes, I don't know if I'm making sense here. I feel like my thoughts are jumbled, but you can request like stuff I'm showing, like Trunk Club has it is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm gonna keep this Levi jacket. I really liked it. I think it's cute. 
and then I'm going to end up selling my other denim jacket because I do not need to. And then by BP, this is just a long sleeve tee. I just think it's really cute and basic. I can wear it with leggings, I can wear it with jeans, I can put like sweaters over top of it. And it's only $19, which makes me even happier. Um, it's in a size small, I didn't realize that. I like wearing mediums, mediums make me happy. They're just like oversized and just, or just like fit normal. I feel like I have kind of broad shoulders. Um, this fit well, it's a size small. So I guess if any of you are kind of similarly shaped like me, smalls work, but I also, wouldn't have mind in just being sent a medium, but I'm keeping that. And then by Topshop, I saw this on a video the other day and it looked really cute and she sent me it. It's in a US size six and it is, I believe this was more expensive. This was $55, but it's such a cute little work shirt and I'd also just wear it out and about. Um, and especially with like denim jeans and black booties, this would be adorable, but I'm keeping this and I will be happy wearing that to school or just on the weekends. And then um, again, I asked her to send me some orange stuff. She sent me this long sleeve tee. It's by Madewell. It's only $30 and it's like really soft. So I think I'm gonna keep it because it's just like school spirited. And I don't have orange stuff. It's just not a color that's ever really been in my wardrobe. And then very lastly, she sent me two pair of boots. I've been wanting some brown boots. I had bought some Target boots the other day that were very cute, but I did just return them. Um, because I think I'm looking for something a tiny bit different. The first pair she sent me was Jeffrey Campbell's. I love Jeffrey. This is my favorite shoe brand. And I told her that and she listens really well. Like this girl, who is it? I think her name was Megan. She like took everything I wanted into mind. Her name's Meg. Um, whereas I feel like some past trunks, I feel like the girl was just sending me stuff that like she liked and it wasn't necessarily what I liked. I don't know. This Meg girl though, she did me well. This is though, they called the Kamet 2 in um, taupe and oiled suede. These are very cute. They're just like way too tall for me. I am not like someone that does well wearing heels. So like three inches is my limit. And this is a solid four inches and you'd think that wouldn't be a huge deal, but it is. So this is what they look like. I have a pair that look identical. They're Jeffries. That's just a different style. They have like this open area here and the heel's like an inch shorter but it, the suede's the same and then like the color on this is same so obviously i'm not going to keep this <laughs> i love these and my other jeffries are just like getting really gross looking but these just were not comfortable they immediately hurt my feet when i put them on so they will be going back but she did a really good job and i appreciate her sending anything jeffrey the orwell 2 is my favorite and there's another one also, the Cromwell boot's really nice, but it's kind of has metal on it, making it a little more western-y than the Orwell's. And they all kind of look a little western, but um, I would say Google that because you might fall in love. Last thing, which I might need your guys' help on because I don't know, I still don't know. Anthony really likes these, they're Dulce Vita. Um, and this is why I'm just like way too picky. They're so cute, right? But I just feel like the heel's a little too short. Like I want it to be about half an inch taller. I don't know why I'm so picky. And the back has a zipper. Like, And they're very, like they fit my foot perfectly. Like they just like snug it like, like a little, little blanket. But I don't know, what if I wear thick socks? Would they fit then? Maybe I'll have to try them on again and see. The color's really cute. I just, I just want it to be a tiny taller, but they would be comfortable. See, I'm talking myself in and out of it. This is the issue. But um, these are size nine, and I don't know what their name is. I guess I should tell you guys that. They're called the Tucker Booty, and they're in a dark saddle suede, and they're $99.95. The one thing about Dulce Vita is they go on super clear and so it kind of hurts to to purchase them while they're full price. So maybe I'll wait. I don't know. I have $200 in credit because you guys are the sweetest in the world and use my referral code. Um, I appreciate you. Every single one. Even if you don't use referral code. You're watching my videos like you're supporting me and I love you for that. So thank you and whatever I buy hopefully it won't go too much over $200 because uh... I don't make enough <laughs> to support all this clothing. Um, anyways, I think that will be it. Leave me in the comments below which ones were your favorite. And if you have any suggestions to get rid of these stupid eye infections, I swear I just keep throwing makeup away. I think the issue was I didn't throw all my brushes away. So I just did a whole big brush cleanse 
with alcohol, 70%, which you're not supposed to use on brush because it just dries them out and kills them. I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to throw them away, I'm going to at least try the alcohol side. So I'm going to wait till my eyes clear up before I use them and then I'm gonna use them and then if I get another infection just like I'll finally do it and just like throw everything away and that will be just like make me cry we'll see though next video I'll inform you okay love you I'm heading out Goodbye.